welcome to our first school holiday activity. Um, I hope you're all enjoying the school holidays. For those of you who don't know, my name's Susie. And one other thing you might not know about me is that I love elephants. And I've brought some of my elephants from home for you to see here. But my most favorite elephant is Elmer, the patchwork elephant. And so today, that is what we're going to make a patchwork Elmer. So now what things do we need to make our patchwork elephant? Hopefully you've got most of these things at home. The first thing we need is a milk bottle, clean milk bottle. We need some colored paper cut into little uh, squares for the patchwork, some glue, an eraser, some scissors, probably small and big, um, pencil, texter, five cent piece, ruler, some sticky tape, some cardboard and some white paper. So the first thing we're going to make is the body for Elmer and we're going to use this milk carton. We need a clean one. They're quite good because they have a handle here that looks like an elephant trunk. So we're going to draw a line around it so we can cut it straight. So Elmer stands up straight. So we put a line here to start us off and then one on that side using the texture. Then to, we'll use the ruler, I think, to make it a bit straighter. So we'll go like this, that side, then on this side, and then sort of join them up at the back. There we go, and that's the basis for our elephant. So now we're going to have to cut it. Now we'd like an adult to help you with this so you don't cut your fingers. So we get this, it's quite easy to cut. So we use it there, start off on our line, there. Get it in there and we just cut around our line. So here we've cut out our elephant, so we've got our trunk here. The next thing we need to do is to cut out some uh, shapes to make his legs. So we'll do that using our texture again just to guide us. So we put a little, like a little arch shape there to be Elmer's legs. And one here at the front, which is a bit more tricky, but I'm sure you'll be able to manage it. Doesn't matter if it's not exactly perfect. It's just a guide and again we'll cut those out. So here's our cut out um, milk bottle. See how it makes a really good elephant shape with its little legs here, here, here and here. So the next thing we have to do is put the patchwork onto Elmer. Well first of all we have to make some patchwork. Now I've got some nice colour paper here. You could use something like wrapping paper at home or some old magazines that have colour. So I'll just give you one idea of how to make your squares. We'll get the ruler. You can do a bit of paper and a few pieces at a time if you like. Just go like that so you've got a nice straight line. You can cut them out several at a time if you like. It doesn't matter if the, if the squares aren't exactly the same shape because patchwork isn't really all the same shape. So now we're going to put our patchwork onto Elmer. So we need some glue and I've got lots of cut up um, little squares here to use. It's a good idea to sort of start on the, to do a section at a time. So sort of start on an edge, put a lot of glue on. You need quite a lot of glue so it sticks on well. And then you can choose your colors. Okay, so here we have a finished patchwork with all the patchwork all over Elmer's body there. So what we need, we're missing some ears and some eyes. So that's the next thing that we have to do. So to make the ears, I've got some cardboard and basically we're gonna draw some ears to stick onto him with some sticky tape. So the shape we're after is like a mushroom shape with a stalk because we're gonna bend the stalk over. So let's have a go. It doesn't matter if it's not a perfect mushroom, but we'll give it a go. Okay, so I put a line across here because this is where we're going to fold it and we don't need to have the, those parts coloured with the patchwork. Okay. So here I've got some ears that I've finished, put the patchwork all over them and they're dry so they, they won't fall off. So I'm going to bend the little mushroom stalks over so that they can be stuck on to be Elmer's ears. So right there, now get myself a bit of sticky tape. Or you could use glue, but I think sticky tape's going to be stay on better. Just have a look where his ear would be. I think it's going to be there. So we'll put one on there like 
that so it's a nice flappy ear and we'll put one onto the other side again just turn it around there so you can see a bit of make them sort of even so now he's got his ears so he'll be able to hear but almost got his ears so now we're going to give him some eyes now I've used here I'm going to use a five cent piece as a guide for how big your eyes should be. So we're going to draw around them with a pencil. There we are, two eyes. And we're going to colour them in in the middle to be his pupils. Now it's a good idea if you're using texture to make sure you've got a few layers of paper on it so you don't put a mark on your table. So we go like this, colour them in, make them even. And then we're going to cut them out. So we've cut out the eyes now. Now we need to stick them on with our trusty old glue stick. So we'll put quite a lot of glue on so they stay on properly. We don't want them falling off. Put them up here where Elmer's eyes would be. On that side, there's one eye. Does it look right? Just check that we can see it. Yep. Now we'll do the other one. And there we have it. Ta-da! Elmer the elephant. So I hope you could have some fun making that. If you wanted to do it, you could. You don't have to use patchwork. You could actually paint it with paint or you could colour it in with textures and have a whole herd of elephants. So that's the end. Thank you all for watching today. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope that you have some fun making Elmer and that you enjoy the rest of your school holidays. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.